Hello friends. In this video, I am going to take question number 33 of uh, miscellaneous exercise of chapter 7 of NCRT Maths Textbook Class 12. Okay. So friends, in this question, we have to evaluate this definite integral. Modulus of x minus 1 plus modulus of x minus 2 plus modulus of x minus 3 dx from the limit 1 to 4. Right? Now let us see how we are going to solve this question. So to begin solving, I have assumed the given definite integral as equal to i and the function which we have to integrate as equal to f. So I can write fx as equal to modulus of x minus 1 plus modulus of x minus 2 plus modulus of x minus 3. Okay. Now after assuming fx as equal to this much, I can write the value of i is equal to fx dx from 1 to 4. Okay, so this would be helpful. I have not to write uh, this value again and again if and when required. Okay, so this is why I have written as equal to fx dx from 1 to 4. Now, all these three functions are modulus function and we cannot integrate modulus function directly. Okay, so we are going to simplify this function fx to an extent Till we could solve this question okay so for that first of all to begin with i have used the definition of modulus function the modulus of x is equal to x if x is greater than zero greater than equal to zero and it is equal to minus f minus x if x is less than zero so this means that if the value of x is positive the modulus function keeps the function or the value inside the modulus sign as it is and if it is negative, it multiplies the value with the minus sign. So the modulus function keeps the value always positive. Okay, so now we are going to apply the same definition of the modulus function. And we can write that modulus of x minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 if x is greater than or equal to 1 and it is equal to minus of x minus 1 if x is less than 1. So. So you can see that if uh, we take a value uh, of x equal to 1 or greater than 1, so we are going to get x minus 1 always positive. So the so modulus of x minus 1 would be equal to x minus 1 if x is greater than or equal to 1. And this will be equal to minus of x minus 1 if x is less than 1. Okay, so using the same definition of the modulus function, we can write modulus of x minus 2 like this and modulus of x minus 3 like this okay so this is how we are going to simplify this modulus sign okay now one problem which has to be discussed with the modulus function is this that uh, the modulus function are non-differentiable for the value for which the value inside the uh, modulus sign is equal to 0. For example, this modulus of x would be equal to 0 if x is equal to 0. So for the, for the point x is equal to 0, this function would be non-differentiable. Similarly, this function would not be differentiable at x is equal to 1. This modulus of x minus 2 will be non-differentiable at x is equal to 2. Modulus of x minus 3 would be non-differentiable at x is equal to 3. Right? So we see that the functions are not differentiable. This function fx is not differentiable at x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 3 in the interval 1 to 4. So we, we, are, we are not considering 1 because the interval is given to us as equal to the open interval 1 to 4. Okay, we have been given a function which is not differentiable at a point. Okay, for example, this function is not differentiable at x is equal to 2 and x equal to 3 we divide the definite integral into the sum of two or more or many definite integrals. Okay, like this. We can write fx dx uh, from 1 to 4 as equal to fx dx from 1 to 2 plus fx dx from 2 to 3 plus fx dx from 3 to 4. So what this have done? This have done uh, this uh, by doing this. So by performing this step, what we have done, we have obtained the integral i as equal to the sum of three definite integrals of course but 
we do not have a point of non differentiability within the interval so now we can perform the integration and of course we have to simplify for the value of fx okay now we shall calculate the value of fx and uh, fx is equal to the sum of all these three modulus function therefore the value of fx would be calculated for the for these three interval 1 to 2 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 okay so we can write fx as equal to x minus 1 minus x minus 2 minus x minus 3 for the interval x is greater than 1 and x is less than or equal to 2 so what I've done here is this that if I take this function modulus of x minus 1 and for this interval x is greater than 1 and less than or equal to 2 I see that it is equal to x minus 1 for this interval the second function is equal to minus of x minus 2 so I have written minus of x minus 2 and again for this interval this function modulus of x minus 3 is equal to minus of x minus 3 so I have placed their respective values and similarly I am going to obtain this value and this value just you have to do is is to check the interval and place the value okay for for the last I'm going to also show you how I have done for the interval x greater than 3 and less than 4 so for this function all the values would be greater than or equal to 1 so I'm going to take x minus 1 again for this interval all the values would be greater than or equal to 2 I'm so I'm going to take this interval and for this interval again this value will be always greater than or equal to 3 so I'm going to take this value x minus 3 okay so this is how I'm going to do and on simplification I'm going to get fx is equal to minus of x plus 4 when x is greater than 1 and less than or equal to 2 and it is equal to x you can see these all values are going to cancel out so this is equal to x when x is greater than when x is less than 2 and greater than or equal to 3 and it is equal to 3x minus 6 if x is uh, less than 4 and greater than 3 okay further since we have simplified the value of uh, fx now what we have to do we have to just place the value of fx according to the intervals and perform the integration okay so i can write i as equal to minus x plus 4 dx from 1 to 2 x dx from 3 to 2 and 3x minus 6 dx from 3 to 4 on integration i'm going to obtain this term and these are the limits i'm going to solve the limits for the first uh, uh, value i'm going to get 4 upon 2 plus 4 into 2 minus 1 upon 2 plus 4 and similarly i'm going to get 9 upon 2 minus 4 upon 2 plus 3 into 16 upon 2 minus 2 into 4 minus 9 upon 2 minus 2 into 3 this on simplification gives me this value and further on simplification I'm going to get total as equal to 19 upon 2 so this will be my required answer friends thanks for watching my video to watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates subscribe and like the videos on these channels on YouTube HSK Shiksha and Math Help by HSK. Thank you.